For the recent Olympics, I uh, volunteered uh, for uh, Team London Ambassadors, and uh, this is how I got on. Well, it's arrived. I've got my London Ambassadors uniform. So, let's open the box and see if it fits. Particularly worried a bit about the trousers. Right, let's see what we got. Ooh. I have care instructions, see? And I'm going to be an expert in safety if I follow the care instructions. So, what should I have? I should have one backpack. Ooh, exciting, one backpack. A cap. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what's that? Ah, a polo shirt. I'm going to get two of them. Polo shirt. Hmm. It's a bit big for medium. Uh, what's that? Uh, oh. It's a storm-proof jacket, so if there are any storms in um, inside uh, Stansted Airport, I'll be all right. Uh, a fleece. Okay, this is August. I do probably need it. And <laughs> the trousers. <laughs> this should be interesting. And um, your water bottle. So I'll go and put them on and uh, have an unveiling. With polo shirt. Very natty, isn't it? I'm not quite sure whether it should be outside or inside the trousers. Um, at least they fit the trousers. Uh, dad long, but uh, they'll do. Um, I only ordered 32 waist, which is... Uh, just as well, because they only just fit. Um, if I'd have done 34, they'd have been around my ankles. That would have been interesting, wouldn't it? So, let's see what it looks like with the uh, storm jacket and fleece. So this is storm jacket. Actually not bad, is it? We're doing an attempt on the uh, world record, which I have to wear the uniform for at uh, the weekend. Um, so I think I will with a storm jacket, as it's supposed to be raining at times. Well, fleece is um, fleecy and a tad pink, but uh, hopefully it should be okay. I'm all set to go off to Stansted Airport to greet people. For London. So, just back from uh, first day of volunteering for London Ambassadors at Stansted Airport. Uh, day went well, uh, nice uh, bunch of people. Uh, the uh, main question was um, where can I get tickets uh, to uh, see the Olympics and uh, also. Um, uh, how to get into London and uh, travel information uh, are when they're uh, around London. Uh, also a couple of questions on how to get to Gatwick and Heathrow um, and how to get to uh, Southend. Also one little lad uh, who was going to see uh, a Harry Potter uh, studio tour at <laughs> Watford uh, thought I had a Scottish accent. So Let's see uh, which part of the nation I'll be from, to, uh, be from tomorrow and what other questions we get, if any. Okay, so day two of the volunteering. We had uh, questions on um, where can I get a cardboard box? Uh, how do I get to uh, Stonehenge? Uh, lots of questions again on how to buy tickets. And... Um, that's about it really, uh, so uh, let's see what uh, questions we get uh, tomorrow. So day three of the uh, volunteering uh, for London Ambassador at Stansted Airport. 
Um, still getting questions on uh, where uh, can people get Olympic tickets, uh, which is um, probably uh, a bit of a uh, long shot at the moment, uh, given that there's not very many left. Uh, and uh, there's been a subtle change uh, into um, I'm now coming for the weekend and staying for a few days. Uh, what uh, travel tickets do I need and what can I see in London? So more sightseeing uh, stuff that's been asked. Um, Today is not really best question, uh, but um, the uh, I'm staying in a place close to London so I can see the Olympics and the person was staying in Lancaster. And I think they're uh, a little bit uh, optimistic about being close to London. Okay, back from day four of uh, volunteering at Stansted Airport and um, still getting um, some uh, questions on uh, where they can get Olympic tickets from. Um, however, uh, there's been a subtle shift now in um, questions because of course the Olympics finish on Sunday to more about what can I do in London and where can I go and see uh, things while I'm there. Um, I suppose today's best questions were um, uh, I would like to go for a run as I'm in Stansted Airport for two hours before I catch my flight and where can I run in the local vicinity that was an interesting one um, where there's a public pay phone yes people do still need them and uh, there was one in the airport uh, and um, a lady who was going to go to the wrong Lavender Hill. Um, she uh, thought her hostel was in Lavender Hill Enfield when it actually was in Lavender Hill in Clapham. Uh, so hopefully we redirected to the right place. Otherwise uh, she would have been very confused when she got to Lavender Hill in Enfield. So only two more days left uh, as an ambassador. So let's see what we'll get tomorrow and Sunday. Okay, day five of volunteering and um, uh, the questions on uh, tickets of uh, all but petered out now. However, we're now getting a few questions relating to Paralympic tickets and where people can get them from. Uh, and um, not really a best question of the day today. Uh, so uh, let's see what tomorrow brings. Okay, back from the final day of um, volunteering as a London ambassador. Um, not got many uh, strange questions today. I uh, did have somebody who turned up uh, at Stansted uh, at quarter past twelve. I was actually supposed to be flying from um, uh, South End Airport at uh, 25 to 1 so they missed the flight uh, as it takes about an hour to get between the two um, I could say I've really thoroughly enjoyed doing the um, ambassador program a uh, nice bunch of people at Stansted and um, I enjoyed it so let's see what the uh, games makers and Paralympic uh, volunteering is like as a comparison